Hello po to our school heads po of uh, different areas po. Uh, I am tasked to discuss to you about the Brigada Escuela in the new normal po. My name is Karen H. Baril po of the Social Mobilization and Networking. So, um, everything that I will be discussing is really anchored to the issue one says uh, legal basis coming from our different agencies and of course our department so ito pong DepEd memorandum number 53 it has been finalized because uh, we know that there was a a uh, memorandum or or a um, how do you call it uh, that was given to us by the president office of the president which is the Pro, uh, presidential Proclamation Number 922 Series of 2020, declaring po the state of uh, health emergency po um, throughout the Philippines. And um, with this po, uh, we know that uh, there were a lot of uh, issuances coming up from different agencies like the Interagency Task Force, the Department of Health, and this is one of the direction of the Department of Education um, be believing and we know that uh, August 24 will be the final date for, our, uh, for the start of classes. So I would like to show to you uh, the De Department of Education Memorandum Number 53 Series of 2020 titled po niya as uh, Joint Implementing Guidelines on the 2020 Brigade Escuela and Auckland Balik Escuela relative to the COVID-19 situation. Uh, we have, uh, we are facing a lot of challenges, uh, crises, uh, the, the pandemic uh, that we need to really adapt and be resilient on the, on the new normal. So, yung theme po natin, uh, which is the pagpapanitili ng bayanihan tungo sa kalidad na edukasyon para sa kabataan, ito pong tema nito is the same po na theme na uh, binigay, na, binigay sa atin ng National Office na DepEd Memorandum Number no. 32 Series of 2020, yung Brigade Escuela Implementing Guidelines. Uh, but then there are changes uh, that we need to adopt, may mga amendments po ng provisions noon na DepEd Order Number no. 32, pero yung team po, as is lagi hapon siya, no? as is lagi hapon ang atong team na ginamit. But the slogan, we have what we call the Bayanihan sa Paaralan. Uh, in this uh, memorandum, uh, school heads are very much encouraged to take into account the engagement of partners the way as stipulated in the fourth pillar, kasi on the fourth pillar of the Sulong Edo Kalidad has something to do with partnerships po. So uh, this is also something to do with the help of our in support po sa ating uh, basic education learning continuity plan. So uh, schools are encouraged to document all the efforts to implement the new way of conducting Brigade Escuela. I will be showing later on the schedules on the submission of our reports to the division uh, office and to the regional office. So moving on po, may, uh, itong uh, legal basis po, uh, 2020, Brigade Escuela mandated partnership activities and stakeholders engagement under the new normal for schools. So one of the emphasis on this uh, uh, basis is to ensure that uh, we support all the provision of learning opportunities uh, ensuring and prioritizing the health, safety, and well-being of our learners, teachers, and other personnel. No? Uh, and it plays an important mechanism to enable schools catch up with expectations for multiple learning delivery modalities. Uh, sa Dep and Leite po, marami kaming mga teams na napupunta-punta sa mga schools nyo to give a thorough technical assistance in the delivery of modalities. Of course, it's preheaded by the functional division of the curriculum implementation division of Ma'am Felicidad Espinosa. Sila pa nagbibigay ng technical assistance and um, orienting no, all the teachers and administrators on the roadmap of the division office and at the same time giving technical assistance of the school roadmap anchored to the division office. Kasi yung division office po, naka-anchor po tayo sa regional office. At the same time, yung regional office po, naka-anchor po yung kanilang learning continuity plan to the national office po. So, 
I will just to to really uh, go through with the uh, amendments po specific amendments of the DepEd Memorandum number 32 po uh, regarding po sa Brigada Escuela. If you've noticed po sa DepEd Order number 32 po series of 2020. Uh, Nakikita po natin na we've scheduled that. It was postponed May 18 to 23, 2020. It's a one-week maintenance week before the opening of classes. And uh, if we try to review over yung ating mga ginagawa noon, we have these traditional activities such as paint, repainting, mga minor natin na mga repairs in our facilities. We also have the electrical installation. Uh, lahat po noon uh, are all those na ginagawa natin for the previous years, wala pang pandemic. But because of the new normal, uh, people are asking, uh, when is the Brigada Escuela? May, meron ba tayong uh, maintenance week and all? Uh, just to give you an information, longer po yon yung preparedness natin sa opening of classes. It will start from June 1 to August 29, 2020 po. And then, if you ask kung yung mga activities po still continue or not, uh, as reflected in this memorandum, no, may be done po ito during the two weeks before the opening of classes, like yung painting, yung minor repairs and all, it may be done, no, two weeks prior to the opening of classes, but just to give you an emphasis, it depends po sa local IATF nyo po, yung interagency task force. You have really to closely coordinate with them uh, for you to know your steps on doing such um, activities po. Kasi sa Deped Order number 53, we have suggested, many suggested activities in the new normal. So, uh, we have, uh, we had um, activities po such as National Brigade Escuela kick-off po, June 1, 2020 po noon. Uh, regional kick-off wala po, but they initiated to have a simultaneous division kick-off po. Uh, remember po, June 9, 2020 po. And then we also have the Brigade Escuela implementation and monitoring of school from June 1 to August 29, 2020 po. So, uh, we also have, um, uh, that would be the submission of Brigade Escuela Accomplishment Report. Uh, that would be done on September 24, 2020 for the division level. And October 30, 2020 will be from the regional office po. Okay, so those are deadlines uh, that we need to ask from you uh, on the report uh, related to uh, the Brigade Escuela in the new normal. So, there are also other related uh, in initiatives uh, na naka-antla po dito na memorandum uh, which is we have to closely coordinate with our own local government units, um, the local chief executives, uh, other non-government organizations, international or national, no? Um, and we have to gather more volunteers for cleaning up uh, for disinfection, like disinfection of our modules, how are we going to strategize? Kasi yung ibang division, meron silang ultraviolet na room, UV room, meron din iba, they have to go through sa mga may init uh, heating area for the, for the disinfection of the modules. And uh, we also have to, uh, may mga schools na ginagamit na isolation area uh, or facility uh, Meron bang process noon? And I think in the MOA that is being crafted, yung local government unit po yung responsible sa pag disinfect po kung yung school nyo ay ginamit as an isolation facility. Then, uh, other other uh, things that we need to emphasize in this in this legal uh, basis of Dep, uh, Dep and Memorandum number 50, uh, three series of 2020, uh, yung school heads po natin should engage more partners and asking donations, particularly uh, related to COVID-19, no? Like, we, ha we should have thermal scanners, uh, we should have hand sanitizing materials such as alcohol, such as uh, uh, hand sanitizing lotion and uh, soap. And then, meron dapat tayo mga cleaning tools, no? For disinfection and all. And 
wearing those washable face masks, surgical face masks, gloves, face shield, and I think most of the commuters are mandated to have face shield already. So, lahat po yon kailangan po yun natin i-reflect sa proposals po natin sa ating mga partners. And then, multivitamins po sa ating mga learners, no? Uh, because we have to boost our immune system nowadays because of the virus that are, uh, that, that, that we are facing, no? And there are also local transmission in our different municipalities. So, dapat i-boost po. So, asking more multivitamins capsules for our learners, no? And you strategize on how are you going to go about it? How are you going to distribute those, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, vitamins for our learners and even our teachers and personnel. And then, printing of COVID-19 and sanitation, proper hand washing, hygiene information materials such as we have to give advocacy materials, IEC materials to our learners, our teachers, our partners, our parents and all because I believe there are, there are a lot of, um, what you can see, there are a lot of um, misconceptions or fake news online so you have to go through with facts that are of course aligned to the right agency of the world health organization and department of health and then um printing of materials and provision of supplies for distance learning for the learners teachers and parents uh, i would like to inform everyone na yung dependente po na partner na po yung congressman ching Veloso sa area 3 nagbigay po siya ng 10 risograph machines po and we are so happy about it uh, for area 1 po um, we are still under negotiation with the uh, Tingog party list for the risograph machine. Kung ipapabaro lang sa amin, ibibigay bo, po or we will just be going to their office and do the risograph um, uh, or printing those modules po. So under negotiation po and until now, the SMN is still uh, giving more proposals to other uh, government, uh, how do you call it, our government officials, our politicians, no, na makabigay po sa atin ng mga kailangan ng mga schools po natin. Um, we are praying fervently that we will be su succeeding in this uh, journey, no. Then of course, uh, School health shall ensure the psychological first aid or psychosocial interventions. Uh, this is one of the emphasis of our secretary before the start of classes that kailangan tayo magbigay ng psychosocial support to our learners and teachers. Uh, and this has already been uh, ongoing po from the national office, regional office. Marami po tayo mga webinar sessions na... Na, na, na how do you call it that we have attended or participated and in fact the division office meron tayong project shoulder po shoulder stands for supporting and helping others undergoing life-changing decisions in an effective and efficient resilient mechanisms which is version 2.0 meron po tayong mga selected responders such as mga selected DRRM coordinators mga guidance counselors and mga nurses po may mga division personnel din na mag -re respond po we have two hotline numbers that you can call and we will be launching that sooner or later po and this is in partnership with Save the children po. Uh, sila po ang nagbigay ng logistics and all and technical assistance. And we have also given series of webinar uh, sessions to our responders for them to be equipped with, um, you know, enough knowledge, skills, and right attitude in responding po. Then, we also have these orientation activities with teachers, partners, PTN learners, and DEPES LCP, uh, LCP po. In fact, meron na po tayong mga uh, one of the activities with the spearheaded by one of the innovation of our ASDSC, uh, Dr. Henrietta Tito Managban, and of course with the support of our SDS, Dr. Manuel P. Albanyo, uh, mayroon na po tayo, nag-start na po tayo ng mga activities for our parents under the leadership no and it was given to us uh, by sir rafi anuver uh, and of course uh, whatever activities for pta and all we are also coordinating with the youth formation division kasi doon po nakaangkla yung mga pta and parents po sa kanila and then coordinate with the concerned deped units on the possible implementation of gulayan sa tahanan or urban vegetable gardening as at home as part of the B and school family community partnership po. Uh, in the Deaf Ed Later Division, meron po kami noon, uh, spearheaded again by our SDS. We also have the Gulayan po sa Deaf Ed Later po. 
uh, if you can uh, uh, try to drop by to our office, makikita nyo po na meron po kaming gulayan and who, who maintains that? Our utility po, nag-maintain po, our DRM coordinators. Uh, DRM coordinator natin si Sir Marvin Nisel, is very active. Siya po ang nag-maintain noon and then at the same time, our SDS po. Then, uh, one of the emphasis also of the of this mandate is to really collaborate with various stakeholders, no, to support really the implementation to materialize the learning continuity plan and strengthen Brigada Pagbasa in their LCP. Mind you po, yung Dependator Division has a partnership with World Vision. They have an activity related po sa Brigada Pagbasa. Um, unfortunately, mga selected schools lang po yung sa kanila, but Sooner or later, baka mawiden na po yung kanilang uh, project and it will be hoping na makover na lahat ng later division ng mga schools. And then, uh, we have partnership appreciation and other school-based initiatives uh, given by the regional office, division office po. Uh, kailangan po tayo mag-recognize sa kanilang effort po because without them, uh, we cannot really... Um, have this uh, full support in the opening of classes and all the resources that we don't have. No, may mga gaps natin, may mga challenges, and they can address that. So we will be recognizing them, no, in terms of their support. Um, kasi para more donations pa coming to your schools, no, more do donations coming to our division office po. Uh, I would like to share with you po for the program support funds for partnership building and linkages for fiscal year 2020. I'm happy to inform you kahit malit lang po na binigay, pero this is really very helpful already. Uh, we have given, um, we were given an adopt a school program na SARO. It's a funds uh, allotting us uh, around 90,000 pesos. Uh, proposed activities po, we will be developing plans and work pro programs that are relevant and conform to the new normal scenario. We have coming up, uh, yung division of late po, nagkakamot po kami ng mga plano at saka mga work programs po namin na ibibigay po sa mga eskwelahan natin to give really technical assistance in partnership and linkages and in the Brigade Eskwela, which that started last June 1 po. And then, we already conducted po yung mga virtual uh, kickoff. We have given um, uh, technical, uh, you know, fees for the people around who made the Brigade Escuela kickoff be very successful po. Online orientation, capacity building of school heads is on our way na po because we are now crafting now proposals and I hope it will be part of the leadership of Ma'am Managbanag. Uh, regarding po sa mga LCP po, we will be tapping very good uh, speakers on that matter po, mga experts po sa mga partnership and linkages. And then coordination with the schools on their needs as aligned to the school LCP po. Uh, we will be coordinating po no, to, to, to different partners that we have, to different schools na, na how do you call it, na ma-align po lahat no, ng lear learning continuity plan. And of course, uh, information campaign po to support flexible learning options. Uh, we already have um, different advocacy campaigns. We have different social media accounts. Of course, with the help of our ICT coordinator, Sir Ronel Bujolano, and um, with the CID po na nagbibigay po ng mga karagdagang informasyon uh, upo sa flexible learning options, our different modalities, and they are so supportive and uh, going around to different schools schools already in data division and then engagement of partners to support the new learning management system we are doing it for heading by our SDS po nagiikot ikot po sila try to give uh, the the full uh, blast of our program in the division po and then engagement po of partners on provision of learning needs for our children with special needs a learner with disability ongoing pa rin yan po um, we are on our way also to craft more proposals and targeting our partners on this matter and then uh, we will be coming up virtual partnership appreciation programs po on the last uh, or the end quarter of this year and then other partnership engagement activities to implement the learning continuity plan po. Uh, we also have the local stakeholders convergence amounting to 75,000 pesos. We will be conducting video conferences, meetings, and virtual forum like what we are doing now no, uh, to discuss some of the new direction of basic education to recognize the contributions of stakeholders 
and promote and strengthen commitment for better delivery of basic education services and of course to formulate a plan on the gaps that we have uh, seen um, through the help of our stakeholders so we, we really have to manage the, the the sustainability of our partnership and looking around other partnerships uh, na pwede namin ma, 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 ma link no for this pandemic and throughout years no na yung smn are active on doing that no then another saro po is the government and community partnerships management uh, allotting around 83,700 pesos po it's all about the virtual PTA or Parents Teachers Association Forum, virtual local government unit forum po. Uh, we will be conducting that this coming August 20 po. We will be inviting all mayors and we need also your help to, to give more advocacies and asking their presence on this virtual local convergence meeting for us to present the LCP and to have their full support in the opening of classes. And we also have the video conference with government and community partners and other partnership engagement activities to implement the LCP po. Uh, I think that would be all po. For my updates, we have already partnership for radio stations. Uh, we also have partnership for television uh, media, uh, media uh, stations like the PRTV12, the DYFE, uh, ongoing po yung negotiation po yung Bombo Radio and DYVL and DYDR po. We, uh, with the support of our education program supervisor, Ma'am Grace uh, Villanueva and Ma'am Arlette Labaclado, sila po ang nag-sparehead ng pag-craft po ng mga videos uh, uh, using uh, those uh, television-based instruction and even uh, other modalities na connected po sa radio-based instruction po. So, Malaki po yung appreciation po namin noon and then they are well appreciated po sa PRTV12 din yung partner natin. Now we are given free airtime po uh, from Monday to Sunday po, uh, collaborative effort with um, with the uh, Tacloban City Division po uh, and also for DYFE. Um, right now we are still starting to go through kung ano pa yung pwede natin ma Ma magawan po uh, to answer the challenges of our schools and that is why we give you, if you notice, marami po kaming mga memoranda na binigay sa inyo for survey forms, lahat yon is very much uh, helpful po yon para magawan namin po ng, ng mga uh, interventions o ano pa, paano po namin magbigay ng mga proposals sa ating mga partners po um, and this coming, uh, how do you call it, uh, classes po. So, if you have questions, you can chat, uh, you can write on the chat box. And uh, if not, you can, um, you can also try to, uh, how do you call it, reach me at my mobile number, 0927-774-5458. Again, 0927-774. 7745458 or you can email me at karen.baril at deped.gov.ph means to say k-a-r-e-n dot b-a-r-r-i-l at deped.gov.ph once again this is karen baril thank you so much for listening